Happy Mother's Day, gang. Last month, I suggested Anne McCaffrey might be the mother of the fantasy genre. That immediately suggested other candidates. One sure contender for the position would be Marion Zimmer Bradley, and I'm making a pitch for her Arthurian epic, The Mists of Avalon. Now when I say epic, I mean EPIC. This was the one book I packed for a month-long trip to Germany in the 80s, and it lasted a long, long time. Literary beef jerky. And like jerky, it nourished. This is the Arthur legend from the point of view of the previously neglected female figures. The dashing heroics of Arthur and his knights in this reading are kind of a front for the real drama in which Morgan Le Fay and Queen Guinevere are fighting for the soul of England. I remember this as one of the first novels to really acknowledge the driving role of women in the establishment of civilization, and one definitely gets the impression that without that influence, all the jousting and dragon slaying of the traditional medieval or fantasy tale, however flashy, are just empty gestures. This is a lengthy book, but it's well worth chewing over. Now, go call your mother. She misses you.